Yo, what is up guys? Baku Bros East here. It's your boy Reek. And I'm back at it again with another unboxing for you guys. So um fortunately I made a trade recently and uh, I was able to pick up this very nice looking Pectrix Green, Halcor Imperian, and Max Thor and Zentor Diamond Starter Pack. So um I don't know if these things are common or not, but I know um my friend recently he stumbled into Target and he just stumbled across this, I guess. So um we made a trade, I traded him some nice cards, he hooked me up with this bad boy and um yeah, so um, three more starter, three more, excuse me, diamond bop gun we can add to the uh, collection. And um, yeah, so um, as you can see there, we got Rampier and Halcor, Max Thor, Zentor, Petrix, Goreen. And on the back, there's an even better picture of them in their Bakugan forms. And as you can see, it comes with one Bakugan Ultra, two Bakugan, six Bakugans, three ability cards, three character cards, one gate card, one structure sheet, and one, one Bakugan toy battling rule sheet. So uh, yeah, looks pretty good in the plastic. And it'd be nice to keep sealed as well, but um, this one I definitely, obviously I'm gonna open this one because I'm making a video on it, but um, hopefully I'll get a second one of these and I can keep it sealed and have it hang on the wall and look with the rest of the, rest of the ones that are sealed. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, crack it open. All right, boys and girls, we are back. And uh, yeah, like I said, I cracked open this diamond three pack for you guys. So uh, first up, look at the cores. So uh, let's see, we have a Helix with two damage and Fusion plus 500B. That's, eh. We got a Fusion plus five damage, a two uh, plus two damage, but for if you're Fused plus another two damage, uh, same thing, plus two damage if you're Fused plus another two damage, uh, plus three damage, and if you're Fused plus four damage, and a Orange Shield that is Chaos Ventus plus 400B. Um, not the best cores. This one's pretty cool though, I guess. Um, this one might not be too bad either. Uh, depending on what you're playing. I, I guess these are all like, you know, these are all obviously fusion cores, I guess. They're supposed to benefit the fusion Baku gun you just got. But um, yeah, they're not they're not too bad, I suppose. So um, given the right circumstance and the right deck, they could be uh, pretty good. So next up, we have, let's see. So the gate trainer we get, the gate car we get is this nice, cool looking, um, Dragonoid Treaders, Ventus Dragonoid Treaders. Um, the stats look, uh, I guess, in the favor of Ventus. If you're playing Ventus on this, I guess it would help. It looks cool, nonetheless, but we don't really care about that. So we have a, what is this? This is the Fusion. It's a Fusion Evolution, okay, for Pegtrix Um Costs a little bit to get out, but uh, 700B to land on a Fire Fist. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so he'd be at 1900 plus whatever fire fist you pick up so maybe um the plus 200 b plus three minus two for a gear he'd be at 2100 and 10 damage or a third 2113 damage um i don't know if i'd play this or not but the artwork looks really cool nonetheless so uh, that's pretty tight i like how they uh got those side by side right there as well it looks really good cool all right we have max Thor and zentor okay so um he's 303 plays orange shield and helix but if you look closely if he Lands on a fusion shield, uh, a magic shield, excuse me, he gets fused. So I'm hoping this is a typo. Um, you know, I don't I don't know if anyone's figured out what exactly, what exact coin he needs to land on to um, to fuse. But I guess if you want to play this guy, you you have to land on whatever coin it's specified because there's no other way to fuse it. So um, hopefully that gets fixed and uh, people can play this guy if they choose to. But uh, if you fuse him, he becomes... 606 so uh not the greatest because if he lands on a, uh, his own helix he'd become 1203 that's rather lackluster i guess um yeah not not too much to say about him I mean, he'd be better off if he played a magic shield because at least you could fuse and then play like the plus 800b fusion core so he'd be at you know 1400b for free you know so um he could be better but um he, he's all right i guess Halcor and Rampirian. He's double green fist, 505 and costs 6 to fuse. That does not sound like the best stats at all, but he becomes 1406. Um, eh, still not that great, honestly. There, there are better fusions, but um, yeah. There, there are better fusions to play. Next, we have Pegtrix on Green Ultra. This is the character card for the fusion we just looked at a minute ago. It plays a Fire Fist and a Green Fist and a 700B and 3 damage. And it costs four to fuse, and it becomes 905. So uh, once again, not the greatest stats. Um, 
I mean, you're probably gonna if you if you if you fuse them and you land on the fire fist, the best fist that it has between the two of those cores, he'll be at 1100 B and what like eight damage. So um, there are other better choices for especially Chaos Bakugan. Looking at you, Chaos Dragonoid and Treaders, I like him a lot. It's a lot better than this guy, but still, still very nice. And this is the evolution, fusion evolution, I guess, for Max Centaur. Six cost, 1,515 damage. Uh, pretty cool. Really cool artwork. I like that a lot. That's pretty crazy. Very spacey. But yeah. That, and then we have the uh, the fusion evolution for Halcorn Imperium. This one looks really cool as well. It's eight cost. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pr pretty pricey penny. Um, it's 1800B and 8 damage, and then, uh, well, I, I, for a second I thought you had to land on a certain core, but nah, he's just 5 Frost Strike and Shadow Strike, so, um, no matter what you land on, um, I think he plays, like, what, Double Green Fist we just said a minute ago, so I guess, um, if you manage to get this out, I guess it'll be, uh, pretty hard to get around. I'm not sure how these work, so I guess you have to fuse first, and then drop this, so, um, that, that sounds like not the greatest strategy, but, um, I guess you could play if you want to. But that's a lot of energy to pay five to fuse that first and then eight more energy to drop this so you probably want to find some easy free way to, to drop this if you could but uh yeah all right enough with the cards get into the actual baku gun right quick let's roll them up girl these put down these gate trainers cool all right first up we got the pegatrix scoring Okay, I was hoping to flip, but um, at least it opened. So, um, this thing looks amazing. I pulled this up a second ago. Wow, this thing looks, like, ridiculously good. It's actually gorgeous. It's not the best competitively, but uh, it's definitely um, pleasing aesthetically. So, um, it looks great. The gold on the wings, the gold on the tail. Got that uh, hair symbol there, that rail symbol there. This thing looks really beefy, really strong. Yeah, this will look really good on my shelf with other diamonds I got, so definitely happy about this one. Very nice. Next up, we have, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have, this is Max Thor Zentar. Cool. Once again, that really gold, that, that really good looking gold paint. The uh, Chaos symbol there, the Vintage symbol there. Looking very beefy. Very monstrous, like he's about to tackle something. That, that chaos, that, that blue paint there, the green paint there, looks really good. Pretty easy to fold too, I'm sure. I'll save that now, watch them struggle. Yeah, definitely close that wrong. Okay. Cool, okay, easy enough. All right, and lastly we have, let's see. We have the Halco Rampyrian, cool. This guy looks pretty cool too, not too bad. Gold aqua symbol there, gold uh, darkest symbol there, three heads, three headed doggo, very long tail, I think it's like really thick, it's like a tail slap, it's going to knock you out, uh, very cool, like I said, these, these guys aren't the best competitively, but uh, they still look very good um, aesthetically, so these guys will look very, very good together on uh, my shelf with the other diamonds, um, just chilling, you know, until I can collect some more. And then hopefully one of these one of these days I can get another one of these sealed and um, keep all the sealed box gun together as well. Can't seem to fold this. I think I messed that up. Did I? Yeah, I kind of messed that up. Okay, anyway, put that to the side. All right, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. You know, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this diamond three pack. Let me know if you want to see some more unboxing of some more diamonds. You know, uh, please continue to support the channel. You know. Um, let us know what you want to see, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Take care, and peace.